Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. We're going to be solving name scores, which is problem 22 on Euler. It says using the names.txt, a 64k text file containing over 5,000 first names, begin by sorting it into alphabetical order, then working out the alphabetical value for each name, multiply this value by its alphabetical position in the list to obtain a name score. For example, when the list is sorted into alphabetical order, Colin, which is worth 3 plus 5 plus 12 plus 9 plus 14 is 53. It is the 938th name in the list. So Colin will obtain a score of 938 times 53, which is going to give us 49,714. So it's asking us for the total of all of the name scores in the file. So the only problem with solving this problem, I would think, for anybody is figuring out exactly how to get these numbers, right? Um, because most people are used used to the characters here being um, represented differently by the ASCII table, right? So, for example, C should be 67, but however, we're seeing three here, right? So what happened was I just pulled up the, I went online and I looked up for, I looked the table up and I actually saved that up, so right here. So what they're doing here is pretty much using this instead to represent A to Z here. So the numbers will be between one and 26. All right, so with that done and said, so let's say for example that we actually have the first one, Colin, which starts with a C. So a C represented by 67. So what we do is we take A, right? So A is going to be 65 minus one is going to be 64 okay then what we do is we take 67 minus um 64 and that is going to give us three so we arrive here as three so this is the formula for finding the characters okay so now you guys know that we can go ahead and solve this so i need to go back to euler for, for now and I just show you guys the answer, but that doesn't really matter. If you want to see how the problem is solved, just follow along. So click on the file and all you have to do is just copy everything. It's taking forever. Okay, so just right click, copy, then we're going to go into our sauce folder here and I'm going to create the name score um, class. All right. So what do we need is we need to go ahead and keep track of the data. So it's going to be a private static going to be string array and I'm going to call this one names. And it's going to take in no argument. Right, so we'll go ahead and create this. No, let's create it there. Call this names here is going to equal to new string array. And it's open close. And then all you have to do is just paste this in here. Okay. And then you've done that. That's pretty much it. So next we're going to do is we want to use the arrays dot sort method and then we're going to pass in the names. Then we want to go ahead here and return the names. Okay, so just as easy as that. Okay. Why is this tripping? So now that we have that, what we need to do is actually calculate the character sum for the name, right? The string for the name. So, uh, so we'll just create a variable here. I mean, a method. It's gonna take an int here. I'm gonna call this one name um, char sum, and this is gonna take in the string, which is gonna be the name and then the index 
All right. So what we need to do is keep track of the sum. So let's say var sum equal to zero for now. And then we can use the for each loop. Let's say var c. Then we use the name dot to char array. Then we're going to say that the sum is going to equal, it's going to be plus equal to, then it's going to be the character minus All right, and then it's going to be the character A, right, minus one. And this is how we get the um, character value. Next, all you have to do is just return the sum times the index. All right, and that's pretty much it. Next, what we need to do is actually do the submission so we're gonna create a private um, static. Uh, let me make this one that long, and it's gonna be the submission of names. This is gonna take in the string array, which pretty much is just the data. Call this one array. So what we need to do is keep track of a variable. So let's say var sum here gonna equal to zero L for long. I'm gonna say for fair index is equal to zero. Index is less than the array dot length. I do the index plus plus. So next we're gonna say that the sum plus equal the name char count. You want to pass in the uh, uh, array and then the index and then we want to go ahead and then uh, multiply by the index but the index is going to be plus um, one right because we typically don't start counts from zero we start at one then all we have to do next is return the actual sum and we're done all we have to do now is just create main All right, next one, do we want to get the array, which is going to be from the data method. Let's see, would I save it here? Uh, names method. All right, and then we want to pass that to the actual uh, submission of names, and then we just pass in the array. All right, and then let's go ahead and run this. And this should be the answer that you're looking for. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comment section below. Just like and, sub and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.